it's time for the music news. BBC Radio. Music News. Six Music. With Matt. Exclusive news now on a new documentary about Julian Lennon. It's filmed by award-winning director Dick Carruthers, who's the guy that shot the acclaimed Led Zeppelin concert film mm. last year, along with lots of other fantastic movies. Dick told Six Music about the project that's called Julian Lennon Through the Picture Window. It started as a documentary about his current album, Everything Changes, which took ten years to make. But then it kind of expanded into this feature-length documentary about the man himself. So it's not just about the record. It's a look at the kind of person that Julian is, being the son of one of the most famous people in cultural history, but also how he's dealt with it as a human, as a person, also as an artist. It's due out at the end of this month on DVD, but interestingly also as an app as well, which contains the documentary, along with the album and interactive videos and an acoustic version of the album. There's this weird thing where you can listen to the record, uh, swivel your fingers across the app, and it turns into the acoustic version and back again, stuff like that. It's quite a cool little thing. Uh, our reporter Linda Sirk spoke to Dick Carruthers in his editing suite about the documentary, which tackles questions that no one's really dared ask before. And there are a few famous voices in there as well. There's lots of things about Julian that are very interesting. He's a great musician in his own right, and I say that objectively. He also turns out, almost by accident, he's an amazing photographer. Um, and the, the story of how that came about is in the documentary. Tired of this world, all the good that we do never seems to get through, it's a shame. But inevitably, the shadow that his father casts is huge, and uh, there's, there's, there's Julian's own way of dealing with that, but there's also everybody else's perceptions of that. And that's a bigger kind of mountain to climb. You know, whatever he does, it, it, it's almost always viewed through the prism of his father. I wish it was easy, but fear will divide. And so um, what the documentary does is, is tackle that head on, is confront those, those, those preconceptions and those issues. And we ask a lot of the people that work with Julian, not just his collaborators and songwriters, but people like Steven Tyler and Bono, who uh, are both friends and work with him. How does it feel to be one of the beautiful people? I'm so enamored by, by his albums, from his first one to this one, that to write a song with him was just, it blew me away. Someday, someday. He does not have the spleen. Okay, the bile or the spleen of his father. And of course, we all love that bit about John. And they're very similar. They're both abandoned kids. We get lost and we get broken. It builds into a very interesting story of a very accomplished man in some ways struggling to be recognised for his own talents in, a, in an otherwise quite difficult world, quite a hostile world, and that how he has handled himself with incredible dignity and with incredible patience and that's quite an achievement so I think it's a very interesting story and a story that hasn't really been told Fascinating. Interesting. Stuff, actually, yeah. Interesting. Thank you very much, Linda. Thank you, Dick. And the documentary, Julian and Through the Picture Window, is out at the end of this month on DVD, as I say, and an interesting app. Interesting indeed. And thank you very much indeed, Matt. BBC Radio. Music News. Six Music. Bom, bom.